What's up, Saiyan Army? Now, this is gonna be a very different type of video. This is gonna be more of a, like a behind the scenes type video. So for a lot of you guys that are watching this video that's never been to Comic-Con or hasn't been to Comic-Con like at this level where there's like over 100,000 people in attendance for the whole week. But yeah, it's gonna be a very behind the scenes video. As always, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I'm not gonna throw shade at Gohan this video, but no Yamcha's allowed. So today's outfit we're gonna dress up as Vegito. Why Vegito? Because Vegito came back in the Black Saga. It's been out for a couple months, so get over it. So these pants are Vegito pants. I got them custom made from one of my friends, Krista. She also made my Gogeta outfit my first year I attended Comic-Con, so shout out to Krista. Custom Texan boots, or actually Han Champion's boots. He dressed up as Vegito for Halloween, so shout out to Han for letting me borrow these. Oh yeah, the Potara earrings were straight off Etsy. I found an Etsy maker. The wig, the wig I get asked a lot about. It's a biatch to travel with. Upon coming here, we threw it in my carry-on and it took up my entire carry-on. And it's gonna get messed up regardless, so what we did was we bring the, brought these two things. Got to be glued, their spray and their gel, and after every trip, we just kind of make it up, try to do it a little bit better, but you know, we do what we can. We got the Super Saiyan Blue socks. Now, this isn't gonna be shown whatsoever, but I thought it'd be cool to just match. Shout out to my Auntie Donna, who buys me pretty much everything Dragon Ball related. And we got the Vegito Michael Jackson gloves. So these I just bought from Amazon, and that's pretty much the outfit. So right now, we're on our way out to Comic-Con, so I'll see you guys there. Alright, another tip is one, getting tickets, and two, preparing for Comic-Con. So first thing is you want to register on the San Diego Comic-Con website first. Even for New York Comic-Con, you got to do the same thing. You cannot get tickets unless you register first. And also, when tickets launch, you want to be the first one on the site. Um, I read a statistic that if you've never been to San Diego Comic-Con before, there's only a 6% chance to get tickets for any of the days. So we're very fortunate to get um, tickets at all. Once you get your tickets, you want to make sure you get a hotel nearby. For us, we only got our hotel about two weeks ago. So we're staying about 20 minutes away. And even after that, we have to park about another 15 minutes away and um, catch a shuttle to Comic-Con. So you want to get your hotel and try to get a hotel nearby because they sell out really fast. If you have to drive down, figure out your parking situation because there's lot, lots of parking lots where you can pay for parking and either catch the San Diego Comic-Con shuttle that they have, they have a free shuttle that runs all day long or just walk there. <laughs> So anyways, the question I get asked a lot too is, should you cosplay? Now a lot of people think, you know, that is are embarrassed to dress up, you know, but understand that this is one of the most, if there is a judgment-free zone, it is at Comic-Con. If you think you're dressed up weird, there's always, always going to be someone dressed up weirder than you. And this place is just, you know, do whatever you want to do. Who cares what other people think? Dress up whatever the hell you want to dress up as and just have fun, man. This is a fun place. Everyone's here to have a fun time. It's a super positive environment, which is one of the reasons I really love it here. Oh. <laughs> 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 That's insane. 
miss him, bro. Hey, thank you, man. Thank you. Take care. Oh, don't go, don't go. Oh, don't go. say about his power level it's over 9000 <laughs>